Hello, welcome back to Learn Economy. And today we are going to discuss a very important topic in economics, that is dualism in economics. So let's have a look on to the subject to see what is the meaning of dualism. What are the important types of dualism that we can have in economics? So let's get started for the same. Coming to the very idea of dualism, the meaning of dualism. Dualism would be telling us some coexistence. It will be telling us some coexistence of two distinct type of economic system. So dualism itself, the idea of dualism itself shows differences. Differences. So some distinct economic systems are there or sectors are there. And the very same two economic systems, uh, these would be happening within a particular region or within a particular country. So we are talking about differences between two aspects. That is why we are considering dual. Dual means two. So it just reflects the coexistence. That means the simultaneous existence of two distinct distinct economic sectors within a particular region or within a particular area. So what is the importance of this? Why should we consider dualism here? This is so because, this is very much important because it would be highlighting the disparities in the region. I told you that it is all about differences that we are talking about. So it shows the disparity. So what does it mean by disparity? It shows inequality inequality so different parts of an economy would be unequal different sectors of an economy would become unequal definitely it is unequal but what will happen if it becomes more unequal so thus it is very much important to consider for analyzing the dualistic character of an economy because we are thinking about economic development, we are formulating policies for economic development, we are trying to reduce inequalities, poverty, etc., etc., in the economy. In such a scenario, it's very much important to give emphasis to dualistic character of an economy so as to deal with the dualistic character at the right time. So, let's analyze the same thing with more explanation. I am giving you uh, some types of dualistic uh, features or I am giving you some different types of dualism that you can have in our economy. First of all, you can have a difference or distinction between urban and rural areas or urban and rural sectors. Definitely, you know that um, if you just look at a particular urban area and a particular rural area, this site itself would give you some differences because urban area would be more industrialized. You can have so much of infrastructural development in urban areas. Definitely you can have so much of services available in urban areas. So you can access uh, urban services. I'm not talking about affordability character, I'm talking about accessibility because it would be the whether it is services or whether it is other types of goods, some types of goods, these are readily available in urban areas. Again, it is much more developed. It is much more industrialized. You can have hospitals, schools, colleges, uh, post offices and what not in urban area. Everything is available in urban area. But what about rural area? Rural area is much, much different from urban area, right? So in rural area, you can have some other set of characteristic features. It would be dominated with agriculture. I mean, most of the people in uh, rural area would be involved in agriculture. There might be discussion in employment as a result of more number of people engaging in agriculture sector than what is actually needed. Then these people might be engaging in some traditional practices. They might be engaging in some um, works related to crafts. Some artisans would be there, carpenters, etc., etc., would be there. And that's what happens here is that uh, you can uh, find that access to resources would be very much limited. Resources in the sense that access to services, access to different types of infrastructural facilities etc etc would be very much limited in a rural area so when it is hospitals schools uh, post offices uh, 
then banks etc etc so we can have more number of these kind of infrastructure facilities available in urban areas compared to rural area but now we could see that the government uh, of a country is taking a lot many steps steps so as to have a uh, more facilities available to rural areas but now we are considering the theoretical approach the dualism as a concept that is what we are considering right now so what happens if uh, the dichotomy between urban and rural area goes on and on so as i was telling you earlier this will definitely lead to disparities it will lead to inequalities in terms of income in terms of employment in opportunities in terms of standard of living so thus inequality would be increasing when such dichotomy goes on and on so in uh, people who live in urban area uh, in the case of people who live in urban area so they might be having uh, more income because they would be having uh, good jobs available the job opportunities available to these people would be uh, very uh, very much more here because they do have a lot many items to choose from their choice would be very much more or all else you can say that they can have a lot many options to choose from and uh, thus they can access uh, have they can have uh, so much of access to education healthcare and all the advanced and sophisticated technologies too as compared to what you can have in the rural areas so it is creating a kind of dualistic divide uh, if uh, the division um, that happens between urban and rural area if it is much more you can see that it is some dualistic divide that would even pose some for problems for the policy makers so policy makers uh, would be intending to frame some policies so as to bridge the gap between urban and rural area so then only then then only we can say that we have a balanced development right now then moving to the next step of dualism this is the uh, kind of difference that you can feel between formal and informal sector so just look into the areas of employment here when it is formal sector it will be consisting of many enterprises such as business some activities that will be having registration with the government so it will be registered with the government so it will be regulated it will be recognized by the government so there will be some set of rules regulation uh, laws etc and there's big corporate uh, big corporation big businesses public institution all the government institution or these are identified as organized so formal is also known in the name of organized organized but what will happen in the case of informal sector which is again called the unorganized sector so this would be less regulated or you can say that it it, it is mostly uh, less regulated or unregulated and it might not be officially recorded or monitored in most of the cases it is not officially recorded and not monitored and thus what happens what are the problems that will be coming here the people who work in these sectors would be lacking protections so today or tomorrow they might be sent out of work without any reason today they might be employed and tomorrow they can be sent out of work without giving any explanation so these people might not, these people who work in the unorganized sector they will not get any uh, social security like pensions so this is not there there won't be any legal rights given to these people there won't be any other kind of additional benefits like a, a provident fund or bonus these kinds of things are not available in the case of an organized sector so the workers here um, are mostly self employed or they might be engaging in some small enterprises or as they would be involved in as a day labor again this dualistic character would lead to more and more inequalities and this inequalities would get reflected in income definitely in job security definitely in social welfare definitely in standard of living so in these areas too this dualism would get reflected now moving to the next type of dualism that is the dualism in e economics in the form of differences that you can have between advanced and traditional industries so there will be some advanced industries 
what happens in the case of advanced industries these would be very much technologically intensive that means it uses more technology or when we say technology here we need to understand that we are talking about advancements improvements innovations so that's what happens uh, these industries would be become highly highly competitive and in the global market they can compete with their rivals they will be carrying out certain researchers developments they will be investing in capital again skill labor etc so what you can have here this example is it that is information technology you have aerospace engineering certain pharmaceutical companies still uses um, still use sophisticated technology so it's to develop new new medicines so that itself is a big advancement and new medicines for new diseases again it's something great but what happens in the case of traditional industries these are uh, comparatively poor industries and they still rely on traditional production methods so what about their technology so they do have limited technology they uh, might not be having enough money to go for advanced technology and that's for the very same reason these industries will be facing different difficulties when a worry comes to international markets because there would be rivals in the international market who would be very much technologically advanced and uh, these traditional industries need to compete with their rivals who are technologically advanced and that will make this traditional industries to lose their market share again it is all about regional disparities that we are talking so that too will be influencing this kind of uh, differences between traditional industries and uh, sophisticated uh, technology using industries will again create disparities that will lead to uh, disparities in terms of income growth prosperity etc 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 again so coming to the implications of such dualism what are the main implications here definitely it will lead to inequalities inequalities in income employment opportunities access to resources standard of living everything so what is the end result of inequality definitely some social unrest would be happening some political tensions would be happening some uh, some people would be forming a group and they will be demanding more and they will be creating tensions for the entire public so what we have to consider here is that we should talk about inclusive economic growth but as far as dualism is concerned it would definitely be acting as a barrier to inclusive economic growth and for the very same reason certain sectors of the economy would be lagging behind the other sectors uh, some sectors would be developing some sectors develop other sectors will not develop so thus it will be creating complications and problems for the entire economy so what the policy makers can do here is that they can uh, adopt some strategies they can uh, go for some policies so as to promote something called balanced development again there comes the question is it possible for an under developing economy or a developing economy to foster the idea of balanced development you can but with certain limitations because but it is important to for, go for balancing to balance kind of approach to development so as to reduce the disparity so you should uh, think about policies that will be stimulating development for traditional industries rural areas as well as informal sector so we have uh, to lift up traditional industries then we need to lift up rural areas and also informal sector it's not like uh, we have to make uh, these sectors to make these sectors equal to their counterparts in their respective areas but we should ensure that the gap these kind of sectors would be having with their counterparts which are already developing is not that 
much more so dualism uh, altogether would reflect the coexistence of two different uh, distinct systems or sectors and the uh, manifestations of, of dualism would be many many and it's very much important to address these and dualistic character would be dividing the entire economy that would be possessing problems for the policy makers because we are trying to attain inclusive growth so it's always important to address the problem of dualism by framing and implementing policies that would be addressing the same so that is all for today thank you for watching you can like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos you can join our free telegram community i'll be providing the link of the very same in the description box also you can download the learn economy app for which also i'll be providing the link in the description box that's it thank you for watching